Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some lovely shot darts for you today, their new AI range, Mecha Darts. Really interesting looking dart, nice story behind it as well. But what we'll do is we'll go and head on over to the board and we'll have a closer look at the darts themselves. Okay, so we're over at the table with the Shot AI Mecha Darts. Really nice looking box here. You can see the, sort of like the Mecha robots in the back look like they're about to start fighting. Um, information with the shot logo and obviously match weighted to 0.05 grams and we had the 23 gram version it's a 90 percent barrel and it's got a black titanium coating the shafts are the koi carbon shafts and this particular dart is front weighted which is really really nice lovely window showing the full setup over on the back we have the information about shot here obviously the image itself is like the chest plate of the mecha um, safety information and the little write-up that shot love to put on their darts i love them as well it gives every dart a nice sort of story this particular one reads large in charge from the front inspired by heavyweight engineering the super machined grip packed from barrel to nose to tail mecha's front loaded tapered from form holds rock steady in the face of collisions. Behind a slotted nose is the powerhouse, Titan Grip, fusing shark, square and V cuts to keep you in control. Meet your mecha, go large and supersize your game. So it's definitely saying there that it is front weighted and it's gonna be a really grippy sort of barrel. So let's get one out, have a closer look. You have to bear in mind these darts are quite unique because the packaging and the flights are ai generated which is something a bit different um shot darts come in this eva foam insert it holds everything in place you've got your sort of extra stems and barrels either side of your full setup and your flights in there so let's have a closer look at the actual dart we've got the standard black coated point that shot like to put in their dart so it does add an extra grip element into the board and then we have this rear slotted so like tapered bull nose um it's definitely slightly more tapered than a ball nose so you do get less deflection point which is really nice and then we go into a deep groove that's inlaid with the gold and a very narrow ring before we go into this it's high i know they call it a square so i um cut razor sort of grip um but there's three of those so i i was um placed in the middle of like two standard rings it's almost like a mini scallop because the razor is inlaid deeper than the rings either side. There's two of those sections, adding a really, I can really feel it, it's a really grippy section, and that's about a third of the barrel. And then we go into this mid section here, um, where it's split into two sections. Um, you have the V grooves cut in there, and it's almost like um, three lateral cuts in one. You've got like a narrow and two wide at either side, and it's a long, square cut v um section like a long razor grip in itself but there's two of those the back one looks slightly narrower than the front but don't hold me to that then you have a another razory ring in the middle and then that pattern there is mimicked but again these rings are slightly narrower than the front it could be a a slight the seat there because it starts to taper from that midpoint to the back so it could just be that they look smaller because obviously it's a bit narrower and then we go into a similar grip to the front again it doesn't look as wide and it's definitely narrower than the front with those three razor grips with the lateral grooves and it's like definitely recessed so you can feel the ring slightly higher than the razory grip so yeah definitely a grippy section and then you have a tapered section with some more ends of the lateral grooves into the koi carbon stem and that ai generated flight the dart itself because you have that slight taper from almost the midpoint to the back it gives you like an extra push point as well but because of the slightly raised rings compared to the razor section you're not catching your fingers which is something i like because I don't get on great with really, really grippy darts, but I'm not catching as I run my fingers over nice and smooth. 
Uh, the measurements on this one, we've got the 23 gram and the measurements are 46 millimeters long and 7.6 millimeters at the widest point. Obviously, if you're a rear gripper, it's going to be slightly narrower. Um, that's where I'm going to be throwing from. So, uh, yeah, let's head on over to the board and we'll have a throw. OK, so we're over in the dart room and we've got the shot AI Mecha Darts. These are part of the AI line where the box and the flights and that are being generated by AI. I think it's a nice touch to get a product line like that, especially nowadays with all of the AI stuff coming out. The darts themselves look really, really grippy. I think I'm going to have to have a good couple of throws with them to get used to them before we go into our 201 practice routine. So let's see how we get on. Well, a little bit high. There we go, making the adjustment, 60 scored. They're going straight, so I'm not pulling them too much, which is good. Well, a nice tight 60 as well. I'm happy with that. Not great scores, but they're going nice and straight and they're going in at a nice angle into the board. So I think I should be able to adjust on the go with these. So let's go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. One hundred and forty. There we go. Nice steady start. Leaving ourselves sixty one. Oh, just on the inside. And there we go, in three darts. I'm extremely happy with that, considering how grippy they are, and I don't do well with grippy darts usually. Doing it in six was more than happy, and a nice steady start with a ton 40. So, yeah. Let's go have a final thought. I was absolutely ecstatic to get this done in six starts, especially as they're such a grippy dart. Usually I really, really struggle. But where I was holding, it was a nice clean release and consistent grip zone. I'm going to give it a grip rating of four. It is a really grippy dart. It's not as bad as like a shark or a razor grip, but you can definitely feel the edges on those rings and the extra lateral milling really does add an element to it. Weights on these are 22, 23, 24 and 25 plenty of range for everyone if you're a front rear or mid gripper or you like light or heavy darts this dart is fantastic because it fills all of those needs price point is 99 pounds and 95 pence awesome price point for such a fantastic dart they feel really really good in the hand you can feel the quality and all that extra milling and design work that goes into it is fantastic and they're manufactured and produced in new zealand so no outsourcing which really supports their local economy. As with all shot darts, they have a story behind them usually, and shot being on brand hasn't changed that, and they've put a story behind the whole AI element of their darts as well. And shot have sent us this, and it reads, Utopia or dystopia, who knows what tomorrow holds, but now you can hold the future between your fingers. The shot AI range has arrived in the future for the match hackers, the game day predators, and the tournament assassins. This range is the arena where cutting edge intelligent design collides with humanity in constant flux. Shot has harnessed state-of-the-art tech and flexed the physics of flight, coupled with advanced engineering capabilities to create a line of darts so smart they're close to sentient. Rise against the robots and run the game using your own blend of skills, intel and darts gear. Developed by Shot Dartisans precisely for the human machine. Great story and with the whole AI element where it's used to design the flights and the box and everything, I think that's really on brand nowadays, especially with like chat GPT and AI and everything like that going on. I think it's a great thing to keep modern and it really works well. Um, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video, if you've got a set of these, head on down to the comment section and let us know. 
my reviews are one thing and it's really really great for other players to hear your point of view because not everyone can get to a sort of like dart shop or something to try them out before they buy so having us and yourselves give them an honest thought on what the darts are like really helps players out um, as always, make sure you check out dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv. All the products that we've had in the past are reviewed on there. Lots of articles to do with competitions, players, everything on Darts Planet. So make sure you head on over. Whether you've got five minutes or half an hour, there's a read for everyone. Make sure you tick subscribe and tick that notification bell. Lots of reviews coming up in the future. And as always, come back, check us out again soon. Bye.